really start singing about 5,000 RPM. Yeah, that's it. And it's right up there. Yeah. And the aircon keeps on working, that's fantastic. Yeah, it does. I turned it off. <laughs> I thought that, yeah. Good morning comrades! Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring. Actually I might say good evening comrades, a very good evening, fantastic evening because we just did a sunset cruising lap with BMW E35. Foot. What did I say? <laughs> E34 oh. M5 wagon. Uh, yes, sorry, it's been a long day but a very beautiful day. E34 M5 Evo, Evo Nürburgring edition of Chris. Here. How hey. are you doing? Uh, it's great. Yeah, thank son, Gavin. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much for the invite. You're welcome. It's been absolutely fantastic yeah. for people who have been following the channel. They know that I have Including a... us. Exactly. I have a very... Thank you very much for following, by the way. I have a very sweet, soft spot for E34. So I had one two years ago. Uh, took me a year to get it here from Russia through Poland to here. Then it burned down on me and then we sold it we bought the camera equipment and that was a long story short ever since it was kind of love-hate relationship I'm like uh, was it never meet your heroes case or something but after having driven this one uh, spoilers ahead it kind of changed my perception again of falling in love with the car because the car performed flawlessly and it's fantastic so big testimonial to what well, you as an owner yeah. to people who built the yeah, car and me yes. yes and yeah. also to bmw m engineers yes. hand built last hand built car in munich the m car um it's the wagon yeah we actually need to show <laughs> yeah. that actually wagon in a beautiful avis blue fantastic fantastic mm. color absolutely magnificent yeah the, the back part is the best part probably interior we should also check it out by the way nice and beautiful leather it looks almost as good as new. Yeah, it's no. been reconditioned. But okay, done a really okay. Good job. Yeah. It doesn't look worse than the M3 Touring that I had yesterday. <laughs> really? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's really good. It's really good. And it performed flawlessly. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, for people maybe who are new to the channel, new to the car scene, uh, it has a 3.8 naturally aspirated engine with 340 horsepower, something something newton meter. Um, don't remember the amount anymore. Zero to 100 was like six, yeah, yeah, six, 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 yeah, uh, six seconds. But it's more about the emotion that you get from this naturally aspirated straight six engine. It's absolutely phenomenal. When you didn't need speaker sound to uh, provide emotions, yeah. The weak point of every E34 are the brakes, but actually here, well, we didn't use them because we knew that they wouldn't work if we would really have to use them so we used them only once or twice and they did flawlessly. Conti Sport Contact 5 uh, when it comes to tire suspension it's stock with the uh, one of the very first gen EDC so active suspension that you can change from the inside with a flip of a switch over here so you go S is apparently sport probably maybe and then we have P for we don't know you tell us in the comments if, if you're watching this part of the video because most of the people skip straight to the onboard so having said that enjoy the lap because this was fantastic it was the best way it's not was not the fastest intentionally lap but one of the most emotional ones and for that thank you so much Welcome. thanks a lot thanks for and having us next and week next week yes, yes. <laughs> we are going in the alpha in the alpha <laughs> well for that stay tuned subscribe like and share and you know what to do looking forward to that but first a lap in the e34 m5 touring so anything i should know it's all stock new brakes on the back new yeah. discs and pads on the back i have barney from classic heroes check it all over which is where i keep it yeah he's just checked it now it's going on a big trip so it's fluid belts but there's that one but yeah it's You know, it's like kind of, it's touring, it's big, but yeah. size-wise probably they're similar. Similar, This yeah. might be even lighter, I don't know, what's yeah. the weight of this? Uh, I don't know what the weight of it is, but... Uh, Maybe like 1700 yeah, or so probably. Yeah, something like that, yeah. That's nice. And the engine is of course the 
Yeah, it sings, doesn't it? Yeah, S38 beat there. Yeah. Beat. Fantastic. It just revs out. Yeah, it? very it's responsive. Is it? Yeah. Find it. I love it. I know that that's the, like the weakest link yes, of the car. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like I'm really not yes, using yeah. them much. Yeah. It's more of like keeping the momentum yes, and just yeah. applying a bit of yeah. braking force if necessary. But for the rest, I'm just enjoying the fact that it's the last lap of the day. The sun sets exactly. and Beautiful. just like cool down lap for me. For right. the car. And when we can, we can of course floor it on the street. Yeah. That I'm smiling just the whole lap, you know, and that's that says everything. It's one of those laps where I don't need to comment, yeah, yeah. and right. it's, it's a lap for me, yes, exactly. That's what I thought when I got in touch with you. You might be interested, absolutely. Oh, you just hit all of that curb, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Yet, maybe now. Okay. Really start singing about 5,000 RPM. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. It's right up there. Yeah. It's a little, doesn't it? Yeah. Fine. It's not really hunkered. Come on, fly, little fella. Yeah, it's a maximum yeah, speed. speed yeah. Okay, for the winter tires or something. Yes. 
Maybe. Probably. Okay. Yeah. I was about to praise it like the car is doing great, and then like some warning coming up. <laughs> like, all right, well I jinxed it. Uh, no, the temp low temperatures are good. It's 110 as far as yeah. I can see. And we're keeping it pinned on the uphill section. Right. Fantastic. And we're having aircon. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> How old is the car? Like 25 plus years yeah, old? 95, so it's uh, nearly nearly 30 years old, yeah, 28 wow, years old. Wow. Yeah, it's fantastic. Come on, M2. I mean, it's for what it is. It's a big wheel, isn't it? Yeah, I remember when I bought my car and I I bought it before without looking at it. I just right. ordered it, I had it shipped. Yeah. Come from uh, Poland, didn't it? Uh, it came from Russia. Oh, Russia, and that's it. I had it imported to Poland to go to yeah. the European uh, Union like import specs because that would have been easier. Uh, I'll tell the story in a bit for people yeah, who have yeah. missed it. Uh, <laughs> but I remember the first time sitting it, and I like the steering wheel, like, oh wow, that's yeah, like it's in like comparison. The truck, isn't it? Yeah, in comparison to today's cars, it's like, oh my god, never meet your heroes, you yeah. know? <laughs> Why have I done? But yeah, the car was bought in Russia for an extremely cheap price because it had quite a life. It was originally a Polish car, uh, and, uh, 3.6, so as. 38 be the 36 version right. uh, and then they actually swapped it because I think it was an 89 or an 88 car I right. the first ones and then they swapped it for a B38 one, oh, once, that, yeah, yeah. One, once it came out um, then the car was sold to Russia and then to some actually uh, some people in the oil industry so you would think okay plenty of money but no these cheapskates <laughs> put it in the papers to avoid paying high oh, taxes. That's it. I remember the story. They put it as a 325 170 you had horsepower with or the something. Tooth, didn't you? Yeah, so for me it's like okay, if I'm going to buy this car and import it in Germany, German like tooth engineers going to be like I'm going to have a heart attack, you know? <laughs> so that's why I sent it to Poland because their Polish people are still Eastern European yeah. Slav people. They would be easier, but more importantly, the car was originally uh, sold and bought in Poland so yeah. they have still the old historical documentation so they converted the documentation to be an actual M5 with a S38 B38 engine in it and then I would import it here right but however by the time they got here and did my try to do my first lap the car caught fire and then I had no need of importing the car anymore uh, and then I actually sold it because I got an offer that I couldn't refuse. Yep. Uh, and then I bought That's all it. the camera equipment for, uh, right. for that, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was, yeah, it was alright. And I think I, I like. In hindsight, it was a good decision uh, because the investment in all the gear really, really paid helped. off. Yes. Uh, we definitely, yeah, we can conclude that, and I can always buy another one. Well, another one even today because. Of course, they went up in prices a lot, but in comparison to like what, like what, two years, they're still yeah. similar-ish. Maybe they yeah. gained like five thousand on top of the yeah. price from two years ago, uh, but it's still affordable if you're looking for this kind of car. Yeah. Because even back then, they were going between twenty twenty-five up to yeah. Some people are crazy asking fifty for it. Right. Uh, but I think a decent one is nowadays. Well, of this would be probably close to fifty because yeah. it's a it's a wagon. It's uh, it's a six-speed Nürburgring edition, uh, so this would be probably approaching 50 if I would yeah. have to make a guess. Yeah. It would be definitely one of the highest ones. And looking at the condition and state that it's at, it's really nice. And 215,000 kilometers. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's not too bad, is it? No, that just don't. You can't find them low mileage. Yeah. That's great, Michel. Fantastic. No, I hope you enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, cheers. That's fantastic. That was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had uh, I had lots of fun. Like I said, the first beginning of the lap, I was just like enjoying soaking yeah. it in, like you know, just cruising. And again, car did marvelous. All temperature is now even dropping to 100. It didn't go up than 110. <sighs> the last hand-built car yeah, it was by the M, M yeah, department. Yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, it, uh, but it, it is a racing engine, isn't it? It is. It comes from a racing engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I spoke to they are temperamental I mean uh, well, a lot of people uh, 
try to like I think they do the math conversion because it doesn't have a math sensor. Oh, I think. Right, okay. Um, but the manual linkage you can feel it in the throttle, can't you? Yes. And you have to yeah. push it quite hard. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh, yeah no amazing amazing car. It's fantastic. Really really enjoy it. Thanks. Yeah. And, so uh, what's the plan next? Where are you going? Well, next we're going to Italy. Nice. Uh, in the Alfa Romeo. All right. And we're leaving this in a garage All right. uh, for the week and then we're coming back next week. Cool. So if you want to drive the Alpha. Oh, I would love that. Would you? I would love that. This so, is uh, something that I'm sure a lot of people on my channel would go wild for and also myself because I've never driven one of those. It's, uh, it's got the coilover springs, it's got alcoholics lower suspension. Wow. It's not really done a lot. It, uh, there's a, not mods to the engine, it's got some uh, different carburetors on it. Wow, but, that's about uh, the motion. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what it is. Um, but if you want to arrange next week, we're back next week. Perfect. Well, Let's that. Yeah, mess, message me and then we'll yeah. make it happen. I'm excited for that one. Like really. No, thanks again. This was fantastic. Yeah, you're welcome. Was, again, aircon keeps running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it shuts off or not. But. Yeah, but no, uh, modern cars, like normal modern cars. You go up the hill, you floor it or not even yeah. up the hill. They overheat, aircon stops blowing, right. the engine goes through the roof. And here, like 20, 28 year old car is yeah. just having no problems whatsoever. Like on a relatively hot day, today's like yeah. what, 23, yeah. 24 degrees, maybe yeah. more. It's like, I'm amazed. This is like, well, maybe it sparked again the desire to actually go buy a proper one because, <laughs> yeah, because I bought that one. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna spend yeah. a little money on the make it a project car. And then like, you know, you get what you pay for and the car catches fire and like, oh, piece of shit. And then you end up in this and like, oh, well, this is actually, better than any car nowadays because after driving M3 Touring I'm like well, I actually want the M3 Touring in my life right uh, like actually what, the new one yeah the yeah. new one to, to, I was actually like really like uh, I inquired already for one they yeah. said okay if you order now you get the first quarter of 2024 right. I'm like okay do I want to wait this long do I actually want that car and uh, worried about about everything around it that is like too nice with having two dogs yes. and you yeah. know yeah it's like uh, a lot of things to consider, uh, but I look at this. Well, obviously this would also need to stay in a nice shape. You cannot ding it. You can, but it's a different, <laughs> yes, <laughs> different yeah, league. Then, it is. Um, yeah, there's some things that are a bit odd about yeah, it. You yeah, know, yeah, daily yeah. in a car this age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's uh, it would. Uh, but you could use it a lot. For sure. You, you're not necessarily daily, but you could use it every week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Fantastic. And enjoy it. I loved it. Awesome. Well, proper indicators. Click. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a funny part uh, because uh, Maggie, my fiance, yeah. uh, she said the only thing I don't like about the M3 Touring are the indicator indicators sounds. Yeah. I'm like, why? It's well, strange. because because it's Bing, bong, it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. Some, it, it doesn't suit the car. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. all right. Well, I would have never thought about that. <laughs> but women, they always pick up some interesting <laughs> stuff that we don't care about. Exactly. You know? Awesome. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks for making yeah. that happen. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Yeah, I really welcome. enjoyed it. Thank yeah, thanks a lot. Let it run or is she fine? Uh, I think she's fine. Okay. I think so, yeah. You think you should let it run? It's not terribly charged. <laughs> no, like, no. We cruise already the last part anyway. Yeah. The temperature is fine too. <laughs>